It's Thursday, February the 25th. Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Our scripture verse today is from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 50 through 58. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 through 58. And here's what Paul writes. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, does nor, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And that is the word of the Lord. Victory through Christ's resurrection is the article that Tiana Sunberg writes to accompany this passage. It is by faith that we believe that death is really life. It is by faith that we believe that because God so loved the world, because God so loved me, that God sent Jesus. It is by faith that we profess that Jesus, though dead and buried, walked out of that tomb three days later as a resurrected Lord and Savior. The power of the death of Jesus and his subsequent resurrection is humanely impossible to comprehend. It is by faith that we believe. <clears throat> I remember realizing one day that Christ's death and resurrection is a promise for me. Without Jesus' death on a cross, his physical death, and then his victory over sin and hell, and then his resurrection, my death would be final. The hope for the eternity of life has no other roots, no other hope, no other power than that which Christ wrought for me. My eternity is secure because Jesus is alive. We have heard this story so many times. We have celebrated Easter after Easter, and somehow the power and the mystery and the miracle and the hope of what Jesus did for us stopped surprising us. Take a moment to thank Christ for his gift of life. Charles Wesley wrote the hymn, Christ the Lord is risen today. Lives again our glorious King, where, O death, is now thy sting. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, we find, So is my word that goes from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which... I sent it. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, February the 25th. Have a blessed day.